Gooey melted marshmallows dripping with chocolate and sandwiched between two graham crackers. They taste so good it makes you want some more. But if you've ever tried roasting marshmallows on an open fire, they may have ended up a bit more crispy than you ever intended. In this project, let's avoid the charred carbon coating by turning your empty drink cans into a simple and effective s'mores roaster. We're all familiar with the term life hacks, but this summer the guys at Mike's Hard Lemonade asked me to help put a refreshing twist on it with what they're calling Mike Hacks. Mike Hack, basically a life hack that makes any social occasion more awesome. This little contraption will help melt your marshmallows and chocolate to s'mores perfection, making for a delicious ending to your summer socials. To start this project, we're gonna need a 16 ounce aluminum drink can, as well as a pair of scissors and a marker. Now, if we turn the can upside down on a flat surface, holding the marker a quarter of the way up from the bottom, we can easily mark a line around the can just by giving it one complete turn. Let's go ahead and cut the top off the can, making sure we stay about an inch above the line, because this initial cut is gonna come out pretty jagged. Now we can go ahead and cut along the line, making sure we're cutting counterclockwise, so we end up with a nice clean edge all around the top. Alright, next we need to find something the same shape and size as a box of toothpicks or matches, and the size is important. You can see it's going to take a bit of manipulation, but the end of the box should just barely fit inside the can. Now if we set the can upright and push the box all the way to the bottom, we'll be able to use it as a form to crease the edges and mold the can to the shape of the box. At this point, let's gently pull the box back out of the can, and you can see our little roaster oven is halfway done. Now this container shape is perfect for accommodating a couple of graham crackers, but the problem is that everything keeps falling over forward. Let's solve that challenge by adding some feet. We'll need to snip each of the four corners about half an inch deep, then crease the sides over flat against the can. If we bend them back and forth a few times, you can see they make a clean break, and I like to trim the corners off the can just to clean them up a bit. If you did the same, the tabs on your can should look something like this. Now if you look closely, you can see where I poked two holes in the upper tab as well, and when this is folded inside the can and the bottom feet are bent down like this, our s'mores roaster is completely finished. All we need to do now is load our crackers with some chocolate and marshmallows, then tuck them inside so we can get them roasting. Now if we set this near the edge of a campfire with the open end facing the flames, it should only take a few minutes to get our marshmallows toasting to golden brown perfection. A quick peek inside and you can see everything is soft and gooey and looking delicious. Now there are all kinds of other ways this can be used as well. For a more adventurous approach, I tried bending a coat hanger to form a makeshift roasting stick and slipped the forked end inside the tab holes we made earlier. The cool thing about this method is you can get closer to the heat and the flames don't actually touch the marshmallows, so they shouldn't catch on fire. Instead, everything gets melted into a soft and gooey goodness that's completely irresistible. Another idea you can try is fitting the roaster between the gaps on your cooking grill. The leftover heat from barbecuing should be just enough to make one of these sweet and tasty treats. Well now you know how to turn your empty aluminum drink cans into a flame resistant s'mores roaster, so you'll never have to worry about carbon encrusted marshmallows again. By the way, if you're at home and don't feel like getting a fire going, try setting a hair dryer to medium or high heat, then aiming it inside the can. In two minutes or less, you'll have the same great results without even having to strike a match. Well that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching the S'more Roaster Project. I'm really interested to see what you thought about it by reading your comments below. So let me know what you thought, and if you don't know already, I put out a video every five days. So please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of cool things coming up that I want you to see. And if you don't know already, I've got an email list that you can join as well. So make sure you check in soon for some more random hacks of science. Thanks for stopping in on this one, and I'll see you guys in the next project video. Bye.